Hey, welcome back. Sorry, uh, there was a delay on getting the ground started, and so I did not, uh, was not paying attention. <laughs> and the round is live here on Nico, so this is the SSL event here, and we're just going to watch the initial action here, and I'll do the intro once we kind of get to a pause. They're coming through my hole. Defend our hole. This is a really good attack by this Union team here. And really good arty shots as well. I am very impressed so far with this initial attack here. Um, looking at the tickets, they're doing decent damage so far. And they haven't been pushed off yet here. We gotta kill these dumbasses. Here's FSB trying to push up on it. Yeah, we got 12th and uh, JD trying to maintain some maintain some foothold here. And it looks like that will be that for that attack. There's still a few leftovers here, but they will get swallowed up here very soon here. Now, I, I'm, I'm kind of surprised they brought the flag up. Jesus Christ. Language? Uh, not language, but music is killing me. All right, it's over. All right, so this is the SNS League, uh, the Smoke and uh, Steel League. And it looks like Ollie's already leading out another attack here. This is the first battle of the season, and it is 10th U.S. against uh, CQB here. And we can see that the uh, Union team has opted for a very high tempo attack here. Um, they're a little bit behind on tickets, but I absolutely approve of this. Keep up the tempo on this battle here, especially as the Artie has shown a pretty good job of shaping the battlefield already here. Here we go again. Here comes Ollie. Now, the one criticism I will have of this, this is a little bit strung out here. Um, in fact, that's a bit of a bigger criticism here. That only one unit went in. Um, yeah, I actually don't like this attack now that I'm looking at it. This, that not everybody went in. Right now, the only thing they should be doing is getting their flag back. Right now, this is a waste of tickets here from that attack that was launched by Ollie, unfortunately. The rest of the team pulled back and did not go in, but they are massing up. This is what you want to do. You want to mass up here as a full team if you're going to do these big charges like this. But anyway, so this is 10th U.S. Uh, going against CQB on the bracket uh, for the SS SSL League. And let's see, it is a full server of 299 on Nico Hill, 148 on the defending CSA, 153 on the attacking Union. So we've got 10th U.S. here under Captain Jack. He's joined by Ollie from the CB. Let's see, then we've got 9th Corps led by Brutish. 2 Corps also well represented. I'm not sure who's commanding them. Um, we got FSB under Tandan. And we've got, uh, looks like 10th US CB on the Yardie here. Ripper on the Yardie down there. Archangel, so a lot of good Yardie guys on here. Uh, let's see. Got another attack going? see. So, on the opposite team, we have CQB led under Bates. They are joined by Usewall Jackson here, leading the 12th VA. Looks like MSG is also here. I'm not sure who's commanding. It might be Slippin' Jimmy. I'm not positive. And we've got JB led by Cowboy. we got 59th New York here as well. I believe under Colonel Red. And then 1st uh, Maryland, Zapster, along with some other guys from the SB, I'm assuming. We've got MB down here. We've got some SR in there as well. And it's for Artie. we got a lot. We've got JD. we got 12 VA. We've got uh, MB down here for some Artie. We've got T Patty from 12 VA. A lot of other guys here from the Artie position here. And then we've also got uh, some BLA folks as well. And just as I'm getting done with that, it's time for the attack. So let's get back to the business here. Now, great already preparation of the battlefield of timing the already shots to come in just as the attack was coming. Now, 59th had come out to try to kind of serve as a bit of a break, and you see the Union is splitting into two prongs here. We'll see how effective this prong is. We'll watch this one first here. It's 9th Corps running into uh, MSG and 12th VA here. Fuck. Oh, 
Now it looks like the CSA was able to uh, deal with that charge a lot better than they were with that first one. Um, and also that CB kind of abortive charge hurt them quite a bit as well, so... Not looking great at the moment for the Union. They've fallen behind a little bit on tickets, but um, honestly, I would keep the pace up. A tad short. Ow. Some nice counter-battery shots coming in from the Union already. Just a flesh wound. Yo, now, in this event, there is Steam Chat, unlike, uh, I got confused with the, uh, WOS event, but this one does have it. So this is interesting. The CSA is actually setting up a bit of a forward defense here. You can see they've got 59th as kind of a, a breaker out there, and then they're spread out along this corner. They're not really occupying this wall over here, and I don't blame them, uh, given how the Artie has been hitting down there. So really mostly focusing on this far right side as much as they can. The couple tripwire forces here. See where the Union decides they want to go next. Win, press T, this way. Just follow your star. Now this is not a good idea in my opinion. Let's see who's doing this. Well, I mean, if they're just scouting. Nah, it's not a bad idea. If it's just scouting, might be what they're doing right now. That's fine. As long as that rambling. Looks like they're actually scouting, so. No problems with that. Oh, here comes the next charge. Let's see how they do it. Go for it, go. Uh, it's the man. Go, boys. Go, go, boys. Go, go. Keep going. The man with the uh, picks up his scout uh, Keep going. All right, so it looks like this time CB's going to try for a bit more of a right hook here. Ollie in front. We'll see if it works. CSA is moving to uh, intercept. Dying. Got major winners up here. Oh, no. That's not how the show ends. Left side of the park. 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 Alright, get me a late boy. TRP's already set. Like, okay, we're gonna hit here if they go this way. And they set, hit it, and they hit it hard. I don't agree with stopping and firing again along that fence. Um, I think that's actually a pretty big delay that'll hurt you. Oh my god, god damn it. Because what'll happen is these guys will get killed over here, and then they'll just turn and swallow you up. So your only chance to really get any big casualties is if you all try to go in at the same time. So yeah, okay, we're going in here, but they're all together, the CSA. These guys here will actually die in skirmishing and out of line. And that will cost the Union a lot of tickets. See, five, five, you know, it adds up. You can see how far back the Union is fading here. Now they are prepping, you know, they are trying to blow Get some holes. And you can see what's happened to this wall now. Yeah, I mean, look at it. It's, it's, you know, not much left of it. So, really good job of already preparation. They have done a great job of uh, getting rid of that obstacle. Um, the problem has been actually getting enough troops forward together to inflict enough casualties and not having them go in piecemeal and get those skirmishing and out of lines. That's the biggest problem I see right now for this Union team. Fire. It's always a slog for you. Yeah, about one shot to take. What up? Mouse Make it count. Don't disappoint. I'm also not a big fan of this. Uh, my reason for it is I think it exposes you unnecessarily to enemy already fire, and then you're not ready for the full concentrated force. But it could be that they're trying to. Uh, Distract them for the main force. That might be what the Union's thinking of doing. Got to draw fire to them.
Here comes the next one. We'll see how the Union attacks. Regulars this way. Regulars. Call them up. Call them and they up. are splitting again. This time, CUB is going left, so they kind of swapped it. Now, 10th U.S. is going to try that right shot. So they switched up the weight, and I, I definitely like this. You might not be able to switch up the direction you can go to, but you can vary it in certain ways. You can, you know, vary, you know, where you're waiting the attack, for example. And that's what they're doing this time, so we'll see if they can, you know... Switch it up a little bit and uh, fool the enemy a little bit. You don't want to be predictable. Watch this side of the tech this time. Keeping a little bit distance here because of the music, unfortunately. Shots going, JD. That's a beautiful shot there, boys. Oh, I know somebody saw them legs flying. Hey, get the blue. Yeah, good shit. Now, this attack, I think, went off a lot better than the other one did. Now, here comes Ninth Corps trying to exploit through. Let's see if they could do it. Probably not going to be enough, but even with that, that was a much better charge. And we could see that I think they uh, they haven't caught up on tickets yet, but they did make a little bit more of a dent. So we'll see if they go with the same formula again or if they're trying to switch uh, it up. I'm just being my normal sapper self. Pioneering. Can you really nice? Wow. We're gonna make passes. As for timing goes, you know, we're very early in this match. It's only 30 minutes here, and both teams are very close to taking losses. I do I don't think this is gonna come down to time. I think it's gonna come down to casualties here. And we'll see who can get the better of it. Everyone get in Big cover lines, come on, boys, spread, out spread out a bit more. Spread out a bit more. I would even say the Union can, if they want to, slow down the battle a little bit at this point. Usually I'm, I advise against it, but they've been so aggressive right now that they've um, kind of set themselves up for it. Nice counter battery shot. It's like they're moving out again. See how the Union's going to wait at this time. Kind of even spread out here. Not quite sure if 10th is going to make that uh, move again. CB's going in. So, so it looks like 10th is going to try the flank and the main weight is going to come in the right side. Although there's a decent coming up the middle as well. So I'll be curious to see how this attack goes. Since the U.S. is basically wiped out, but then let's see how comes this attack. FSB looks like they... Oh, nope. Wait a second here. JD here was there to plug the gap. But again, look at this. We're now even on tickets. The USA is catching up now with these attacks. It is difficult, but they are getting a little bit better each time. I expect these last few, they'll go down a little bit on tickets. Fuck you, Yankee. Fall back, fall back, two seconds. Back 
All right, there we are. Both teams have taken losses here. 27 minutes. Let's see what the Union does next. They're slightly behind on tickets. I was going to try to do a, um, a um, stream talking about Artie this week, but I, I just ran out of energy, so hopefully next week I'll get to it. Might probably be Tuesday, I'm thinking. Uh, we'll see, though. Did have family visiting last week, so I didn't uh, have time. I got to catch up on a lot of the work I didn't kind of put off. Still not sure about this uh, screen line up here. I guess it, I guess I'll not benefit of it. It does screen the movement a bit, so maybe that that's worth it. I'm not seeing too many die, so maybe it is okay. Well, they're off again. Let's see how they do it this time. I'm wondering if we're going to see a mass on one side at, at some point. As opposed to kind of doing the split option, which they've been doing. Good dialing into the arty, although I think it might be... Uh, well, I suppose it's fine. You know, I can't watch you if you got this. Now, this came in way too early here. You see how early the attack here from 10th US came in. And we're just now, you know, they're already gone before that first plane even gets there. And look at all these troops back here. So, uh, this attack I don't think will be as effective, to be honest with you. But we'll see if they can punch through a little bit. Who are you looking at, Chuck? We got CB coming in here, but the problem is now these guys just turn. And then they come to meet this element here. Yeah, you can see how bad that attack went. You really, it, it's it's very hard to time this, but it, it's 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 very important to. And you guys that are still charging forward, you're Back to the fence. Back to the not, fence. You're hurting your team right now. You're not doing anything. I'm sorry, save kiddos. I'm I'm, I'm sure you're a good dude, but um, all you're doing is costing your team five tickets right now. Oh, what does it matter? Eh, you know, you're in league play. You tell me. You're the ones that said tell me that this is competitive. <laughs> Um, so, you know, it's, it's, if it's not for you, it's for your team, you know, do, you know, try to do your best for everyone. But yeah, you know the charge is over. Why are you charging? Don't charge him. But you see how much that attack charge the Union was really catching up, but that one faulty charge has really set them back a lot. And now in 23 minutes, we'll see if the Union slows down. They're getting close to breaking now. CSA, about a third, maybe, maybe even half? Nah, I wouldn't say half. I'll stick with a third ahead on tickets. Uh, we got some uh, guys came out to harass. It's not a bad idea, but if you get caught out, it's not a good one. I mean, that was about even on the ticket loss, so, eh. Said the Union got the worst of it, but... They hit the CSA, too, so, you know. Not the worst idea. I 
Copy. Hold on. I wanna see. Yeah, you're aligned. That's shot. Just aim it. Um, or, yeah. Okay. Is that another attack coming up here? It's two core now moving up. Are they trying to drag out the enemy a little bit? Again, I think this is too early here, and they might be trying to drag off the cav, but all they do is kill you and then they move over. They reload so fast, it really doesn't matter. So yeah, it looked like that was a little juke, but 12 PA is, they just smart. They just went right over. Here they come right, here they come in right. rock wall. Now this attack is working a little bit better here for the Union. Keep it tight, boys. Do not let them pass. It's a lot more concentrated, despite that earlier two core element. Union does hit breaking. See, I like how 12th BA is kind of pumped out here and getting shots into them as they come in. So good maneuvering here by Wall Jackson. On the wooden fence, move up to the fence now. Shoot those bastards, shoot them down. And I would also say this is good. Try to get some out of lines as they go back. Make them squeal. Where's the other flag? Flag's getting the divots. Get that one as he runs. Shoot him as he runs. Good shot. Did you hit him? Keep it, guys. Keep it. Keep it. There's a couple guys behind those rocks right there in front of us. Oh, he's crouched these rocks, yeah. Oh, he's, rocks. he's crouched behind the rocks. Hey, you at those rocks. Come out. Hey, fall back, hey, fall hey, back, fall hey, back. Hey, back. Hey. All right, so 19 minutes. You need up breaking. Now, the CSA is very close to breaking themselves here, so they have to kind of rethink a little bit, you know. They also have to cover the point. They can't let it fall, so... We'll see if they start changing their tactics. Plenty of time for the Union, though. That one thing the aggression has bought them is time. So they can be uh, very specific about where and how they want to hit. I'd say still either team's game right now, to be honest with you. The Union can fall a little bit behind on tickets and still win. And in fact, right now, I'd say they're still within that sweet spot where I, I think they might be all right. And, um, you know, it's always the question now, do I go for point or do I go, f do I continue on this and try to get them on the last stand? Uh, we'll see what the Union opts to do. Again, with the point, with the, with the timing right now, I, 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 if it was me, I think I would continue the attacks on this side over here. But they just got to be, um, it really depends on the attack. Well, they've been some good ones and they've been some not so good ones. Okay. Alright, here we go again. Let's see. The Union's still doing the split. Let's see how it works. Let's see. This time, 10th US is coming up. You know, I honestly think they'd be better served delaying 10th U.S. by like five seconds. As you can see, the unit back here moved up. JD. Oh, excuse me. Good reserve force while the main body is hitting over there. God damn. Sneezing all over. But 10th is just wiped out here. So we got the main force falling in over here. Oh, that'll down. definitely get me copyrighted. Were you kidding me? Oh, I missed that already shot. Looks like there was a really good already shot on JD. I am so... Man, I missed that one. And 
And with that, so, there's actually a juke here by two core to actually go to point. And that is going to drag off 12 VA. I think actually the CSA is over committing to this. And that has allowed the Union to get a foothold up here. This little juke by Tucor and this overreaction, I think, by the CSA team has uh, really given the Union a great opportunity here. Because now here comes a mixture of units 59th that are going to come up. But they're going to get killed kind of out of line in skirmishing. These are going to be great tickets for the Union line over here. Fuck you, you inbred cunt! They're coming in with clubs. Yeah, Hurry up, boys! Get your ass up to this fucking wall! Gamer, yeah. I'm with you. Get that off there. Get that off there. Oh, Get him back. So this, at this point, it's... Oh, wait a second. No, no, no. Look, good reaction yeah, here cool. by Ollie, and it looks like the FSB went with them, multiple units. So they are... They have flooded in. Off of this delaying action by those remnants here. And now the CSA is going to try to push them out. But I think they're going to lose a lot of tickets doing it. And this might get them into last stand. We will see. You can see now we got the blue wall here. Target selection there. You can see how much damage this concentrated Union line is doing here. And they have now got the CSA right where they want them. They are committed to this fight. And they are also in that arty range here. We get a couple arty shots in here. This could really do some damage here. I do think the Union will hit final push first. And in fact, if I was a CSA, I'd try to force that right now. I think them trying to get into a straight-out gunfight might be a mistake. We will see here. Yep, you see now they're starting to collapse here and fall back. Now the Union, I would say, just make a play for point right now. Especially with 10th U.S. here. I think 10th U.S. is in a great spot here. They might be trying to get them down to the last stand, though. You know what? Actually, you know what? I, I changed my mind. I think they're doing the right call. I think, I think for the Union, just hold on until it happens, until final push happens. And then use that as the uh, the breaker, because you still might get him onto uh, final push, or last stand, I should say. See, yep, nah. Well, move up. That, uh, that's rough. That's gonna be a rough See, now we got this movement forward here by 10th U.S. and two core. There's the final push. Now, if I was a CSA, I would charge this out here with everything I got and try to knock it out. Uh, they just try to wait for it, uh, hold, you're not going to be able to hold. hold In fact, they're not even watching the this. Hold. I'll be honest with you, not... No, you don't. Not like this. You've hold, got those gentlemen. elements falling back, and these elements pushing forward here. They've got unlimited respawns. You don't. Now you can see the CSA starting to flood at the point. Now here comes the Union flood. We're also going to have one more wave coming from spawn. We will see if the Union can pull this off or if the CSA can hold. I'd say the key right now for the Union is to get their flags on point and start spawning people in. If you can get your flags in here and start getting the men here versus doing the long walk. Yep, get those flags up, keep them up, and just swamp them. Yep, they got all flags on, flags on point now. This is excellent. 
Good already hits coming in, but I don't think it'll be enough. And that'll be it. A very deliberate, a very difficult, a very determined win here by the United the U.S. team led by 10th U.S. It's still going to take some hits doing it, but there is nothing the CSA can do now. It is over. I think the CSA played it well. Um, I think they got a little bit uh, fragmented towards the end there. Um, and that kind of hurt them a bit. Uh, the Union, they had some good charges. They had some not-so-good ones. But the main thing that they did was they maintained the tempo that they needed. That allowed them to kind of set the pace of the battle that they needed. So, a good win from the Union. Start off the season. So, 10th U.S. will win. Got one more to go, and that will be uh, CQB leading the CS CSA on the next map.